Like every time I see Bernie on TV, it looks like he got there through a series of accidents. <laughs> like he slid on a banana peel, <laughs> fell down a manhole, <laughs> just landed behind the podium, like whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Sorry, I'm late. I accidentally set my hotel room on fire. Sorry. All the candidates are white as shit. We can't get nobody. The only person we got with a little bit of color is, is Mike Bloomberg, and that's because his teeth is yellow. You see this teeth? You see Mike Bloomberg's teeth? How the f are you a billionaire, and you look like you've been drinking mango lassi since you was a kid? What the f is up with this teeth? Mike, go see a dentist, mother Bernie's gonna take the nomination. Sure, I want him to win too, but not for your goofy white reasons. I want him to win because I'm 33. Most of my friends have passed me financially. I want Bernie to tax the shit out of him. <laughs> Bring him back down to my level. We're all going to Chipotle and everyone's getting guacamole except me. No more, not when Bernie Sanders. But either everybody's getting guacamole or nobody's getting guacamole. <laughs> That's how I live my life. <laughs> Mayor Bloomberg's running for president and he's agreed to release the women from the non-disclosure acts. Uh, I think that's a good move on his part, except uh, he allegedly called one woman a horse-faced lesbian. <laughs> and well, now I guess it's up to her to come forward. <laughs> I'm just, I just, I don't want more damage to be done, you know? I feel like our country is the hot girl from high school who let herself go. But then she shows up to the reunion and all the other countries are standing around like, yo. Did y'all see America? She going through it. Y'all heard she locked Mexico out the house, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I heard she dating Russia now. What? I got married recently. That's something about me, yeah. I'm married, that's fun. So that means I'm watching The Bachelor now. <laughs> I was skeptical. I was like, this show is fake, it's not real, it's all bullshit, none of them even like each other. And then my wife was like, no, but they have sex on the show. And I was like, this is the best show ever made. <laughs> It's insane. It's on ABC. That means like 50 million people sit down and watch porn as a family <laughs> in America. It's awesome. But it, you just watch it to make fun of it. That's what everyone does. I was watching it. We were watching it together. And then the next day, I was like, I wanted to go to my wife and like tell her a line from the show because it's so corny. I just wanted to like say a line to her in earnest <laughs> just to make her laugh. So I went up to her and I was like, hey, babe, last night, you really showed me your heart. <laughs> Thinking she would be like, ha ha, f you. Guys, she cried. She thought it was so beautiful. She was like, oh my God. That's really difficult with dating is that women often expect you to be funny. I often he hear girls say, it's really important he know how to make me laugh. But it would help if you told us what kind of material you like. <laughs> so we could prepare the right stuff at home. <laughs> if you like storytelling or slapstick or something topical from the news. <laughs> and then we can, what's going on with Donald Trump? <laughs> she's like, oh, ha, ha, ha. Uh, I'm so pleased. Uh, Netflix and chill, that's when you invite somebody over to your house to have sex while a boring ass movie plays in the background. But everybody, that's very important. If you're gonna do it, listen up, very important. Make sure you put on a boring movie. I'm serious, because I made the mistake, I invited a girl over and I put on that Netflix show, Making a Murder. That show is so interesting, I completely forgot what I invited her over for. Midway through the show, I look at her and she's naked, talking about, so what do you think? And I'm crying like, well, obviously the police set him up. 
Why are you naked? A man could go to prison. It's not the time for that. You're being selfish. Put your clothes on. Yeah, I'm in love. That's a new thing. I feel bad saying this during Black History Month, but it's my first white guy in six years. So I went back. They say once you go black, you'll never go back. It's not necessarily true, okay? It's, it's that once you go black, you might go back, but white guys will seem gay. <laughs> It's tough to go from yelling Jamal to yelling Andy in bed. No, I do have a girlfriend. Uh, she calls me um, Vanilla in bed. It's not a pet name, it is an adjective. <laughs> I'm not an aggressive lover, you know? Some guys will talk dirty. Some guys will be like, whose pussy is this? I know whose pussy it is. It takes a lot of upkeep. I don't want to take it on, okay? I love you and respect you. Please pee after sex. <laughs> also, my girlfriend dated black guys for like the last decade, so I don't want to ask her that and have her answer with something that hurts my feelings. <laughs> like, I'm like, whose pussy is this? She's like, well, we're right now, but Daquan really put the work in. <laughs> 